he is. He's eating it. He took it. <sighs> you got that on film? Yeah. Here he goes. What's going on, everyone? As you saw in that beginning clip, we had an encounter with a Mako shark, probably around a 250 pounder, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And primarily, I'm going to be using my slow pitch jigging rod and a bent butt rod I have for some grouper, so make sure to stay tuned. What you do with a slow pitch rod, you lift it up, and the jig, jig live on there. On the jig? <laughs> you don't think a shark will grab it? There's a little more show now. Got a good gag on. At least I hope. Oh, you got Simon. He's fighting good. Using my. Ooh. Accurate Valiant. Back, you think it's a grouper? I hope before I retire. No. Take your time, huh? You're okay, you're okay. You're good. Take your time. It's a gag. Ate the jig. <laughs> you might have Thomas. Somebody's got me under the boat. You got Thomas, you got Thomas. Down there. Oh, that's your fish. Okay. I got someone's line here. You got my line. It's a big gag, isn't it? Okay. That's a cobia. It is. Dude, we got a massive tangle. Here, pick up this line. Come here, grab this line. It's, I gotta go underneath it. Pick it up. Damn. That's a rusty belly, Look at this gag that Simi just caught. Eight. He hooked a vermilion and then he got smoked to try to eat his vermilion. And then the jig. You guys like my gag spot? Oh wow, Ben's an actual jig. And then this is a big rusty belly. It's a nice one. Looks like a 42 inch or 41 inch. At least. I'm just gonna get you to hold him up straight up. Hold him straight Crush up. In my hand. Hold him straight. Don't pick up the. There you go. Okay, you gotta get out. Let's see what this is. I think it's a red snap. I don't know. Max, do you dare me to drop an 80-pound lead? I honestly think it's... Let's take it. It's a gag, Max. You want that, Derek? I don't see red. Here, Derek. Here, Derek. It might be AR, though. I see white on the belly. That's an AR. This is loaded with AR, Rick. No. You got me. Yeah. Let loose. Oh, two fish! Oh, get it in! The scamp. You ever let it loose a little bit? Nice scamp. Yeah, you want this? Bro, what a mess. Yeah. I what had the mean? scamp and the red what snapper on the same hook. It was two for one special. Fun. Keep them tight. Let me reel out of your way. Got him, Simon? Oh. Simon, I've been using, I've been using hot my, my first rusty. Is this, you think uh -oh. this is a rusty? I don't know. It's, it's a big fish though. Does it feel like you're tangled with me? I don't know, I just feel weight. Yeah, keep going. I think you're Get him, Simon. Drop this it back is, down. This is not as big as what he is. That was huge. We got a potential rusty. I hope so. Okay. Maybe there's a horse. Huh. I don't have it. Starting to float out. Alright. Oh, I need your help here. I know, I'd be mad too. I'd be mad too. Your fish is coming up. Your fish is coming up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big gag. Uh-oh. Here, let me help you. A whole lot of bonita. Go. Drop a whole bonita real quick. Yeah. I Another agree. big gag. Coming up. 
I, I, I got guy. this. Big guy. Wars over wars. Nah, that's not a guy. Wait, what is that? You've gotten some more weight. Have you caught scamp here before? Max, we're in this zone. Maybe it could be my biggest scam. You haven't even got a chance to jig that jig yet. Every time you get to actually, the bottom. Actually, this time I did get to jig it. It is a scam. It is a scam. Right. Swing it in. Max. Dinner. Snip him in the bed. Got right down on the bottom. As soon as I hit the bottom, this is the shit in. I think it's a guy, hopefully. Should be coming up close. Should be floating now. This should be a guy. He has a little more bite to him. Or it could be a red snapper. What is red snapper caught here? I don't even get this slow pitch dig. They just hit it right when I hit bottom. Bitey, isn't it? But sometimes it's a gag I know. But not very common, you know Stop being Thank you. 
Go Simon, go Simon. Whoa, whoa. You got him up, you got him up. Just take your time. Take your time. Live action. Simon, that's a beast. Take your time, take your time. Just go slow. It's all about steadiness. I haven't caught a rusty this year. This is my last chance for a rusty. Can I catch a rusty? 32. I don't know. I've, I've fought fish on this rod, but they never fought like that. Is this the Marlin rod? You were moving pretty good now, right? Huh? You were moving well pretty good now. Yeah. Yeah, 45. Yeah, there's a little gaff under there. Under where you are? Big gaff. Little gaff? Yeah, there's a little one there. So you have to use that. Did you see that rod bed, though? Yeah. I think doubled over. Thirty? I don't know. Maybe I'm just. You think rust? The way it hit it. Sam, are you in mono yet? They're fighting hard. Yeah, Simon's in mono. They were fighting. I could be completely wrong. They were fighting harder. Whoa! Whoa! Mako! 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 Are you kidding? Mako. I see a big gag. He ate it. No, he it's a, a Mako. It's a Mako. He ate your gag. Oh. Simon had a big gag. You're bringing here. Look at this red snapper. Let's just give him the Mako. Yeah, that was definitely Mako. It was blue. Oh, big red snapper. Can I bring it in? You're hitting it. Like, is it working still? Stopped. Press it. Where's he at? He's all lit up. Look at him. He's coming in. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Tease him up. He's, He's huge. Up. Look at him. Check him out. He's eating it. He oh, there he is. He's eating it. He took it. You got that on film? Yeah. Here he goes. All right, I need to bring up my rod. Here's the grouper we caught. There's the biggest one right there, 41 inch. Some nice stamps, had some black fin tuna as well, but pretty good for the last trip of the year on the Costa. This is what you call, this is a rusty belly. You see right there, and that's like a pre-rusty, and then a normal one with no rust. And that's a little rusty, but still rusty. But those are the ones you want, the big boys. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. This was probably my last guy grouper trip of the season. Maybe get on to a shallow water grouper trip, but I'm not sure. But overall, this was probably my best guy grouper season of my life so far. Last year I did pretty good, but this year I fished probably the most I've ever fished. And it was a blast. Got that new boat, so I'm going to dial that in. We'll do some more offshore trips, go for tuna kingfish and stuff while the groupers close dialing the hogfish again so make sure to stay tuned hit that subscribe button below as i upload weekly videos and i'll see you next time